Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch with your host, South Africa's whiskey couple, myself, Gustav. And Elnam. And you are watching Whiskey Tasting and Food Pairing Review number 225. 225. In this video, we are going to review the Hanky Bannister 21 year old Scottish blend. We're going to do the review and a snack pairing. And we are going to compare it to another high-end blend to determine which is our favorite. But first of all, the review of the Hanky Bannister 21-year-old Scottish blended whiskey. Yes, and this brand was founded in 1757, quite a couple of years ago. Forever ago. It's situated in Scotland. Uh, this brand is owned by Inverhouse Distillers, which in turn is owned by Thai Beverages and Hanky Bannister Exports to 47 different countries. And oh. I think we've got another Hanky Bannister entry level or a 12 year old. Um, but a lot of countries, their main markets, as far as I know, is Latin America, South Africa, where we are here in Pretoria, South Africa, and then another country that I can't remember now. 21-year-old blended scotch, it is com it comprised of, it contains a couple of single malts from the Highlands of Scotland, Speyside, and then blended with single grain whiskies from the lowlands of Scotland, matured in ex-bourbon casks as well as ex-sherry casks from Spain. And it's got an ABV of 43%. There we yeah. go. Nice colour. Uh, unfortunately not, probably not mm. natural colour, probably some colouring added, but you can have a look there. Maybe there's some legs forming there on the glass. I would say the colour is burnished gold. A That's bit the thing, if you add colouring, you can add colouring until you have a beautiful, beautiful colour. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Slanger. Sontag. Prost. Here we go. On the nose. Mm. Freshness and a bit of alcohol that I'm picking up. Vanilla. Oh, definitely. And it's a sweet vanilla with a bit of raisins intermixed. So you've got the ex-bourbon cask influence and then the sherry cask influence that, that is nicely intermingled. But I would also say caramel and honey. Vanilla chocolate. Mm. And I found that if you let it rest for a while in the glass, it is as if the dark honey uh, aromas start to appear in the aroma mm. profile. But the taste profile on the palate, I would say the vanilla and the caramel again, from the nose, the caramel and the vanilla, but in the taste as well. But still the freshness. Mm. I would have, I would have thought for twenty-one year old it will be more mellow, more smooth. But there's still a crispiness. On the palate as well, a little bit of alcohol, the grain, I can pick up the grain as I'm sitting here on the palate. Some I get, spiciness, uh, like I spice. get some um, that raisins in chocolate. I From the nose of, onto yeah. the palate. But not immediately, after a while I get the raisins in chocolate. It's quite nice. Yes, mm. there's a dark chocolate. And again, if it rests in the glass for a little bit, the deeper, more satisfying um, flavors start to start to emerge. The finish for me is um, it's a medium. It's, it's got a medium I would say finish short, for me. Rather shortish for me. So not that long no, not of long. a finish, yeah. and it's quite spicy. Yeah, yeah. I've got a spiciness as I'm sitting here. In marmalade. The I get a little bit of marmalade. Warm lingering mm. marmalade so with a few drops of water let's see if the aroma profile mm. and the taste profile changes with a bit of water i would say the nose is for me it's more vanilla and honey now like a soft sweetness is 
Especially the honey. honey is a softer honey now. Mm. And on the palate. Interesting, on the palate now it's more spicy. I don't get the honey and the sweetness so prominent that it's more mm. spicy for me now. Spiciness that, uh, that is emerging after the water and the chocolate. I get a little bit more chocolate on the palate. Yeah. And then the sweet grain together with that spiciness. But the, the warm spiciness for me is a bit more prominent yeah. than the sweet. Yeah. The sweetness, not that sweet. And the chocolate, yeah. yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, 21 year old from Hanky Bannister. I think one year the 40 year old got the World Whiskey Awards Best Scottish Blended Whiskey. The 40 year old from Hanky Bannister. This particular expression priced in South Africa 1,800 Rand translates to about a hundred pounds in the UK, translates to about a hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty dollars. In the US okay. and our pairing recommendation something that will complement the slight chocolatey element in the flavor profile so we have chosen coffee malted puffs coffee malted puffs we have got dark almost black ones here that are espresso mm -hmm. malted puffs mm -hmm. the browns ones are cappuccino malted puffs and the white ones are latte mm -hmm. Malted puffs. Which one would you I'd try? Definitely go for the dark espresso, espresso for you for sure. and for me a latte. And let's see if it complements the chocolate element. Hmm. Coffee. Mm. Mm. I like this. I really like the explosion of the coffee mm. and it's not sweet. This is interesting. It's not it brings sweet. out the malty mm. element for me. More malty but not sweet. Um, so the grain mm. element is subdued a little with this uh, flavor companion. Mm. No, I like this. For me personally, this enhances the whole experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we want to compare it with another high-end blended malt that is more or less the same age and more or less the same price but first I want to just show you the packaging this is the packaging of this 21 year old hanky banister very nice classy packaging so we thought let's compare this with a blue label okay Johnny Walker blue label also another high-end blended scotch whiskey more or less in the same category and uh, Elna you can go first let's see which one do you prefer of the two the blue label in South Africa is about 2400 Rand compared to 1800 Rand so both of them are around the 2000 Rand price category although this slightly cheaper There's a bit of smokiness yes. in there. Yes. So that gives it a totally different yeah. take. That, Maybe that's yeah. not a very fair comparison, mm -hmm. but I don't have anything else that we can use if I look at our range of blends. Nevertheless, mm -hmm. let's see. Mm, you see, for me, there's more depth more character mm. and that's only a personal mm. opinion based on my taste preferences yeah. uh, a little bit a little bit more full-bodied even though the blue label is not that full-bodied yeah. if compared yeah. to for instance the green label yeah. 15 year old which i'm looking yeah. at there yeah i would say no i would go for the hanky banister so your preference I'm hanky banister um, is yeah. it the smokiness that um not the, really the smokiness it little bit but not that I like the it's more fresh it's more a little bit sweet and then crispy the sweet and the grain after, sweetness yeah. that is what you and like. afterwards uh, with water um, the spiciness mm, I like that nope I will go for that yeah you will go for I will the, go for the blue label maybe it's the smokiness that that 
pulls me yeah, to that yeah, side. Yeah, I think so. My preference, Blue Label. Your preference, Hanky Bannister, 21-year-old. Mm. Thank you for watching with us and joining us on this journey. Hope to see you in the next video. Until then, slanger. Slanger.